for the year 2021. Maayong bagong tuig na tong tanano. So, oh my God, it's a it's a great year. We're so excited. Ganahan na kay tas tanan. Kanang we're full of energy kay pagka 2020 kay daghan kay tong pahuway, daghang katulog, daghang uh, daghang challenges and this 2021 is a new year to start new beginnings and perfect kayo ang atong episode karong gabhi una. I am attorney Cheryl Pamela Palakaw Kondat, Vice President of the Cebu Lady Lawyers Association and I welcome you to 2021. Tonight, we will be discussing with something uh, kanang kaibaw tatanan, kaila tatanan, ta mga Cebuanos about this na trending ni siya and I'm so happy po nga tonight, uh, we will be joined by kanang somebody special to us because in every year, naagita yung mga batch sa lawyers, no? This year, kani siya nga person na ako i-co-host karon special ni siya kaayo sa kaninga batch because he is one of those who led to many, many ideas sa iyahang batchmates, especially sa role signing. So you can already see the leadership and the initiative of this person. And when we invited him to join us to co-host, ready dayon siya, available. <laughs> oh my God, grabe. I am so touched, Attorney Majid. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce my co-host and first time niya mo co-host uh, sa Cebu Lady Lawyers Partners in Law, si Attorney John Majid Ungab. Welcome to the show, Attorney. Thank you, Attorney Pa. May gabi sa itong mga viewers. Dira. So, Ako dahil si Attorney John Majad Unga, pero pwede ako niyo tawag ng Attorney Jed. So, malipayin din kaayo ko nag invite ko sa Celia karong gabi una para mo co-host sa ato ang show karon. Nga naman, kay sa una, katong dilip ako abugado, katong na pa may TV di ay magsigong tanaw, maka na magtanatanaw ko si City N niya. Maka, ba, makabantay nag-go ko lang, makabantay nag-go ko sa atong show good katong partners in law no. nag host sa Celia. So, nakaingan ko nga kala, no? One of these days, maka-appear jo ko ang nga show. So, this is it. Sa mapasa mo nang mapasalamaton jo kay ko sa opportunity nga gihatag sa Celia og ninyo attorney Pam nga maki-co-host ko nimo karon. Yay. So, we would like to mention also no our very active president si Prosecutor Joyce Adlaw for seeing the potential in you, Majid. Kay actually kami sa IBP makita na mo ang imong ka-active but it is actually I'll give the credit to Fiscal Joyce nga siya gyud nakakita sa imong broad casting skills. Well, I ako tong gijokan si Fiscal Joyce nga ganahan ko mag-VJ nga dinggin na ko ba. So, na siya sige. Okay, kaya na hatagan tayo ng opportunity para ma kuan, para ma-fulfill imo pagad imong dreams of becoming a VJ. So, una, na ata karon. And what better time to do it with the first episode for the year? Right, right, right. Yay. So, this uh, attorney, can you introduce our guest for tonight? So, New Year, New Beginning. So, anong makaintag New Year, New Beginning? So, kanilang, kanilahang tinguha or kanilahang um, ilang program, it actually offers new beginnings to people who want to start over. So, excited ka ayot na nga na asla ka ron. So, atong, without any further ado, atong introduce atong guest ka ron, mm -hmm. si Miss Leslie Yap, siya ang COO sa... Uh, Battle Against Ignorance Foundation o ang iyahang partner sa aning uh, activity si Attorney Marlon Yap ang Director for Legal Affairs sa Safe Haven. So, good evening. Mayong gabi. Thanks for having us. Mayong gabi. Gwapo ka ayo si Ate Ma'am Leslie. Tanang maragod na siya, Majin. Oo na sa Dennis. Muli na tapak up. IBP. So, thank you kayo for joining us. Kanang perfect yung kayo ang ato ang topic for 2021. Kanang we know that there are so many problems niya kanang we're not battling only financial problems sa uh, kanang after the covid but you know emotional as well and mental uh, issues yeah, last so, month sa attorney pam di ba pag december kay ang topic with sa tong show kay about mental health kay yes daghan oh. ka ayo mga panghitabo pag 2020 especially sa legal profession mm -hmm. nga na alarm gita ba which is why nag host ta og show that discussed about mental health mental health tinuod so ko an siya kanang nindot Kayo, kay I'm sure atong mga audiences karon nangita git sila na sila mga prob problems and then nangita sila asa sila mo add to 
So, kanang perfect kayo kay pagka last year na trending mangguto ang uh, na I post nga na trending about a rescue of our special mm. guest which we will mention later. And then, pero before tamo mention sa atong special guest and we wanted to know the instruments nga na hi, na himuan to og solusyon ang iyahang problema or uh, kanang nakatabang ta sa iyaha so can you tell us about safe haven attorney marlon for i proceed to that salamat kayo sa pag-invite ninyo sa amo dire kami salamat kay sa attorney pam attorney jed og sa tanang nagpaminaw kay we would really love to set the record straight mm. about rehabilitation centers. Okay, sir. Yeah, so safe haven, I would say, is rehab ni siya nga one of, it, one of a kind kung mm. sa kung pa ni Sweet Generis. <laughs> oh, one of a kind ni siya kay ang atong normal manggod nga nadunggan about rehabilitation mm. centers is ang ilang ginafollow is kaning ginatawag na to behavioral nga model nga ang ilang, ilang treatment of addiction is kaning a behavioral problem mm -hmm. in safe haven however ang amo ang treatment aning addiction is it's a disease mm -hmm. no so sama sa tao nga nay heart attack kung nay disease dili na nimo na i-judge mm -hmm. dili nimo pasakitan mm -hmm. diba kung behavioral man good negative and positive reinforcement mm -hmm. diba so kung to stop a behavior either positively reinforce nimo or in negative reinforcement para yang stop mm -hmm. sa disease model which is what we do in safe haven mm -hmm. kaning dili na mo kung nay heart at nay heart mm. problem ang tao tagaan mo maintenance mm. you don't judge him nga di wala nay pulos nga tao mm. di ba so sa safe haven na loving me loving mm. me nga environment kaning and we have proof mm. uh, mo nay proof nga makita later nga actually mas effective day ang loving environment kaysa kaning imong ipanish or imong pasakitan ang tao mm. oh and that so they're triggering it yes. to ang environment. Yes. Yes. In inote na inote loving oh. environment. Loving and caring environment. <laughs> that is what sets safe haven apart from all other treatment mm. facilities. We will love you until you will learn to love yourself. Mo na mong prinsipyo sa safe haven actually. Oh, wow. nakanindot ka na. Actually, first time na ko na nakadungog ana nga kuan ba nga line nga kanang loving and caring environment yes. mm. kay lahi should be taw ang approach sa uban nga rehabilitation mm. yeah. uh, centers no so lahi should ay mo sa kasi inyo location attorney ah uh, nami nakalocate sa bay Talamban Purok mm. Uno Cebu City mm. now ah uh, kuan lang naragid na siya pangutana ra mm. dapdol ra sa San Jose nga gym pangutana mm. mo ang safe haven na matutulan na mo dito mm. of course pwede po nga kung tawag sa telephone number na mo dito landline uh, which i will mention later mm. <laughs> and yeah basically mo na siya among kuan dito mm. mo na among that's what set us apart from the rest mm. of other treatment centers okay yeah training more than what's the dekadugay atong ang safe haven Five years uh, na ni siya, Attorney Jed. Uh, five years na in existence. And daga na mig na nga produkto dito nga na na change good ilang life, successful. Mm -hmm. And in fact, ay nakahibalaan si Attorney Joyce po nga, sa success story niya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dili lang ang atong guest. Mm -hmm. no? Maulay nahibalaan sa kadaghanan ng atong guest karon, But mm -hmm. way before, way before naabot ng itong special guest, mm -hmm. naanay success stories dito. Yeah, oh, dagan, mm -hmm. dagan. For a uh, model in your attorney, Marlon, uh, how did you come up with it, man? Because it's effective yun siya, model. Because we have been checking on our previous clients, mm -hmm. graduate na, and among gina check ng life, kay, our goal, our vision, mission for mm -hmm. one is uh, to provide lifelong recovery mm -hmm. and improvement of the quality of life. Mm -hmm. So, amo nang itrack ang among clients to see how they're doing. Mm -hmm. And so far, uh, I'd say the cook and percentage compared to makita ni mo sa statistics online mm -hmm. as to other rehabilitation center, although dili ni official studies, but mm -hmm. makita na mo among mga former clients that they're doing well. Mm -hmm. Oh, in fact, mga na pa sila diha Christmas party and they're proud to be part of Safe Haven. Mm -hmm. Normally, mungin ko digi na magsaba nga oh nag rehab ko ano no dili sila nga rito kay among environment is so different from others kyo. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Attorney, asa man ta kakuha og funding aning ato ang safe haven? Oh, ona diha usa. Now, pwede matawag na to socialized siguro. 
Mm. <laughs> so kung nai masulod dito, among i-assess ilang financial condition, ilang status in life, mm. and of course, pabayro na mo kung kakaya. Mm-hmm. But if dili gud kakaya, then nai margin gamay atong bayad sa maka-afford, mm. tabangan ni diri but of course, costly gin ang treatment kay mm. there are doctors psychiatrists psychologists mm. nurses daggan gina so tako gid siya mm. and that is where by foundation comes in mm. by foundation partner foundation ana mo nga mo sila mo provide sa cost sa katong mga dili maka-afford sa treatment okay so i believe kang Leslie ni ang Bay Foundation yes. can you explain what right. is uh, so to siya Majid? what Battle Against Ignorance Foundation is all about so how long did it start unya unsay mga vision and mission nato as a foundation right okay i'm Leslie i am the COO for Battle Against Ignorance Foundation um as to when it started the original inception ni Bay Foundation was a bit different than the iteration right now because mm-hmm. Gi, gi form siya mm-hmm. during that year nga nagsandong mm-hmm. and there were Australian foundations maybe mm-hmm. that were reaching out to certain people here they wanted to help mm-hmm. so they, they formed the foundation and that was its original purpose mm-hmm. which was they coursed their donations to buy mm-hmm. and then they distributed it after that it sort of lost its mm-hmm. and it went dormant for a bit mm-hmm. uh, until because we are relative newcomers mm-hmm. to buy foundation until around uh, two years ago mm-hmm. where we revived it and this time we made the foundation more focused into addiction recovery mm-hmm. so as a mission and vision uh, I'd like to mention that our CEO is Pastor Ronnie De Los Santos. Mm-hmm. Emphasis on pastor mm-hmm. because he is a pastor first and foremost, okay, and all church. that that implies. Mm-hmm. So he is all about <laughs> giving and sacrificing. Mm-hmm. Um, as of right now, of course, because we live in the real world and the real world needs money, mm-hmm. we are looking for funding. Mm-hmm. We currently are processing our uh, city accreditation, mm-hmm. sa City Hall. Uh, I think we're really near already because from the last time we went there and we followed up, we were told that uh, it's already in in the mayor's vice mayor's vice office, mayor. so it's for signing already. So we're hoping for we're hoping for the best with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what my foundation is all about, I suppose, I will have to go back to the scenario where if neither one of you guys have been unfortunate enough to have an addict in your life, then you will not know how precious that moment is Mm -hmm. when an addict decides for himself that he wants to recover Mm -hmm. and this moment is just that it's a moment Mm -hmm. because while he might want to do that right now Mm -hmm. by tomorrow he's not going to want to do that anymore Mm -hmm. so it's it's a moment that you want to capture and just strike 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 where the iron is hot Mm -hmm. so we have these people Mm -hmm. from time to time not on our dates mm. wanting to recover mm. i've had enough i've hit rock bottom i am sick and tired i want to being sick and up. tired yeah. yes <laughs> and that's well and good except that like i said we live in the real world and doctors and psychologists yeah, and costly. executive yeah. panels mm. and board and lodging and food they cost real money yeah. so that's where we come in mm. Um, we, like, like Attorney Marlon has mentioned earlier, we charge on a sliding scale, mm. so it's socialized. So we currently have uh, instituted a 10 is to 1 ratio, like mm. for 10 full paying clients, we will have one scholar. Mm. Our hope is to make that number bigger. Mm. If we get more funding, we'll make that number bigger. Mm. Uh, we do not also just stop there. Mm. Uh, we currently have several housing projects for the families because uh, I know that this might seem logical and obvious but I would like to point out that drug addiction is a family problem yeah. like mm-hmm. even though the the addict himself already has submitted himself for mm-hmm. recovery there still is the problem of the family mm-hmm. how about who's the breadwinner mm-hmm. uh, how about where do the kids go to school mm-hmm. so that's what we hope to accommodate, to take care of, because it's six months inside. Mm-hmm. So this family, these people in the orbit mm-hmm. of the life of this addict are, are just as much or 
affected even worse than the addict. Because mm -hmm. at least with the addict, he's assured of a roof over his head. That's true. Yes. And yeah. three times a day for meals, mm -hmm. right? And 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 loving a community around him, friends, etc. And what about the family? So that's what we hope to take care of also. Mm -hmm. So you only not address the needs of the person who wants to be rehabilitated, but the needs of the family as well. Right, that's So correct. you get them on board and involved in yes. every step of the process. So that's a great right. Right. It, it also makes sure nga padayon with ang recovery. Yeah. Kaya yes. you are curing not just the person but the root of yeah. the problem. Which yes. Hindi ka ayo, ayo ka ayo sila no, grabe. I'm for attorney Pam. Oh. Mga guests, kana na lingon with that atong discussion. Pero <laughs> let's pause for a break or for a few messages. All right. Welcome back to the show. So before the commercial break, we discussed si Ms. Leslie Yap Bahin sa Bai Foundation. So ato ipadayon atong discussion, Ms. Leslie, Bahin sa Bai Foundation. Okay, so uh, I would like to mention that we are a SEC registered entity. Mm -hmm. Uh, for donations, we can and do issue receipts. Wow. Donations are welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you can find it in your hearts, mm -hmm. if you would like to allocate your CSR, your Corporate Social Responsibility Fund, we are here. <laughs> <laughs> so keep us in mind, especially because it's January, mm -hmm. and as to, I think that's a theme for today, right? New beginnings. New beginnings. Yes. Um, statistically speaking, the least number of clients coming into Safe Haven is on December. Mm. Because mostly the parentals will be thinking, Amaluoy ko sa kung anak, iparihab na ko yung magpasko pa mag, magpasko sa me. So the, December. But on January, new beginnings, resolutions, and everything, that's when we have people coming to our gate. Um. So this is our busiest time of the year. Somehow, mm -hmm. right? So we are hoping to be able to cater and accommodate more. Should we be enabled to, mm -hmm. right? Um, I also would like to invite everybody to check out our mm -hmm. Facebook page. We have Buy Foundation on Facebook and also Safe Haven uh, Addiction Treatment, Treatment and Recovery. Recovery Village. It's mm -hmm. it's one word, Safe and Haven. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's the same page also for YouTube, Safe Haven. Addiction. Addiction. One word lang siya. One word lang siya, yes. So, ganaan ako siya i-recap no, sa ato ang guests. So, it's a new year. As mentioned by Leslie, karun jud nga time nga daghan kayong manuktok sa pultahan sa Safe Haven and Buy Foundation because they wanted a new and better life for their children. So, kung kamo karun, na minaw, nga, nangita jud mo ani, asa may nga institution mo dangok para matabangan ang amo ang anak nga kanang naadik, di ba? Yeah. So, mauna ni, mauna ni ang solusyon, mauna ni ang inyong dipangita nga kasulbar Pangitaan ninyo sa Facebook ang Safe Haven uh, Foundation and makita po ninyo ang mga stories sa ilahang YouTube channel. So, before mong good atong parents mo, mo add to sa ato agyod physically sa ato ang office, they would like to research. Yes. So, mauna ni, you can just check online and uh, see what they do. So, kanang na ay mga mangutan na Unsa man gud ang services sa safe haven um, para kapasin wala day ang ilahang problem karon sa ato mga viewers wala day siya ma ni fall under drug addiction, addiction oo yeah, is that's... it drug addiction lang ba attorney Majid or do they cater more kay to other ba... mental health issues for that thing? yes can you share attorney Marlon? Yeah, so um, actually kaning addiction yun, that's more that's just kanang substance or object of the addiction is just 5% of the problem. So, mm. kung iyang addiction is shabu, 5% na ng substance. Kung iyang addiction is gambling, 5% na ng choice of the object uh, of addiction. 95% uh, na is the person himself na trabaho on mm -hmm. the addiction. So, we don't just cater to drug addiction. Mm -hmm. We cater to gambling addiction. Mm -hmm. Alcoholics. Mm -hmm. oh, 
even gaming addiction na natay makit ang mga anak yes. nato nga wala nakagraduate kay nagsige oh na lang ML oh. actually peligro kay nga form of addiction makaguba mm. gyapon ang future mm. addiction in general makaguba ang future yeah. just mm. as bad as drugs mm -mm. so we also cater to that Ito, Nino, oh. because some of you might think mga ah, this is a yes. healthy activity mm -hmm. pero oh. once nga hook na ka yes. and yes. It, oh. you know it destroys you mm. it debilitates you from yes. performing other it's activities it's true anybody, it's, true. Oh. it's fun anything mm -hmm. that is done in excess where it affects already your professional life mm -hmm. your physical mm -hmm. health your spiritual uh, be well-being, mm -hmm. then that is addiction, and that must be held in check, kept mm -hmm. in check. I mean, mm -hmm. so we cater to all forms of addiction for one. Mm -hmm. Also, of course, another byproduct of addiction. Uh, it's usual in addicts to see them depressed. Mm -hmm. So we are also competent to handle mild forms of depression. So, mm -hmm. katong mga nakakons pandemic na, na depressed, mm -hmm. we can do that. We can counsel you. We can help you out. At the very least, just mo contact lang sa mo and yeah, we can point you in the right direction. And how many people oh. are on your team, attorney, sa koan, sa safe, safe haven? haven? Right now, uh, we are around, I believe, 30, 30, 30. people composed of coaches, mm -hmm. um, staff, orderlies. Mm -hmm. So we have security personnel mm -hmm. in place. We have trained coaches in place who have been through the process themselves, so they are very familiar with the pro with the mm -hmm. treatment. So it's easy so, for them to relate. Yes, to the, they can relate oh, no, because the we, have, yeah. we have this saying at Safe Haven that it takes an addict to understand another mm -hmm. addict. So, digit sila mga problema nga di madi kasabot sa kuwa. Wala di ba? Mamna ginaingon sa mga ginikanan sa uban nga adi ko mo tuos akong mama at papa wala sila kasabot sa kuwa. Well, in this place, the staff kasabot sa inyuha. Where these are our full time staff yes. or we do. Mga volunteers. Staff. In fact, in house, some of them. In house. Because okay. of the oh. pandemic, we have started to keep some of the coaches in house so we yeah. don't have to <laughs> go through the whole. Uh, process of Pindot ka ayun no kayo at ma at home jud ang ato ang kuan ba ato ang patient oh, pa is, is oh, that what you call them um, patient no uh, we call them actually more clients, clients. Even, clients actually the best way to call them would be brothers uh, uh, brother bro so kumusta? mas collaborativeness uh, oh, right. uh, okay we are really a family there oh, the way mm -hmm. families treat each other that's how we treat the people in there no exceptions okay, loving okay. and loving and caring caring, caring yeah. environment is more effective in curing the disease of addiction. That's our experience. So how far are we from breaking the stigma against rehabilitation? We hope that our guest, our guest, the coming guest, will show that it's actually possible. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to fear about rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. It's actually for the best. And miracles happen in recovery. Kaya mo mong ginay mga gikadlukan sa mga tao at ang ipamno nga. Pugisod ka, rehab, kaya batik na kayang connotation. Besides that, basig kulatahon ka. Corporal punishment, which does happen. Some other rehabs do practice that as a matter of protocol. So that's not really an unfounded fear as well. But if I may, that is not, we're not saying those methods are ineffective. Yes. We're not saying that. They can be. They can be. We're just saying that in our experience, the a loving and caring environment is, is more effective. More effective. effective. Yeah. Wow. So, kung ano, sa katong mga parents, mga ate, kuya, nga nag sa ilang mga pag-umangkon, ilahang yeah. iksuon, nga nag-drugs. So, sa inyong kag-uol, nga basin kulatahon, dili maadog sakto nga environment ba? So, this is the place to be ang safe haven. So, nindot siya kaayo ganahan kay kung ano ka ng Especially kay Bagu lang yun. Actually, Attorney Marlon, we have a member in uh, the IPP who committed uh, suicide. Uh, Ilang ko mo mention sa name, but she committed suicide because of depression. So, with uh, institution like this, bang nga ka nang, kung good siya, ka nang, di siya tabu ba, ka nang maka, maka, mm, openly, yeah. we can talk about this, that this is available, you can go there. So, dili unta to mahita buno it could have prevented it so kanang kami mong mga lawyers kay we we kuan kanang gitawag na extreme we mo go me to the extreme so if we are alcoholic we are very alcoholic mm. if we if we run we just don't run we go ultra marathon yes. ana so push <laughs> kinata tong sa limits no <laughs> <laughs> so mo over gid siya if we join organizations mo kuan jud mi mo muhatag gid mi sa tanan so the same goes with the negative side. So if we are sad, we are really sad. So and then the environment will show. Demand me kapagawas nga we are weak because people see us as strong. So diha ang struggle. Where do you find support, especially if you're not close with your family? So 
with that, safe haven is the place to be for all professionals who uh, needs help. So safe haven, do we have hotlines where or mga helplines where we can call? You know, somebody feels sad or feels depressed at the moment. Yeah, he needs someone to talk to. Na ng services. Yeah, we do have a landline. But before I get to that landline, <laughs> uh, if I can still tell the viewers that again about that lawyer, uh, we have doctors there, we have nurses, we have professors. And their anonymity is maintained. Mm -hmm. So all walks of life. All walks of life. Mm -hmm. Lawyers, doctors, professors, mm -hmm. even CEOs. We have them there. Tagiyag mga banko na dito. So nothing to be afraid of. Your anonymity will be protected. So yeah. All you have to do is call us, which gets me to the hotline. Our number is. 032-231-9709. I repeat na na attorney Majen. So ang number sa safe haven, if ever you feel like you need somebody to talk to or na kay gusto enroll, that's 032-231-9709. So ato pong i-reiterate sa to ang mga guests na napun sila Facebook page o YouTube channel which is Safe Haven. So ato i-search na ato sa Facebook na ay mugawas na siya dito o sa YouTube para ma-inspire ta sa mga success stories nila. Any last uh, message to our uh, viewers? Yeah, definitely. While buhi, samtang buhi, nagi paglaom, there is always hope. All you have to do is reach out to us. We are just located at Talamban, Purok Uno, Cebu City. Or call us through 231-9709 or contact us through the, our Facebook page. You can also see the recovery stories sa among facility at our YouTube channel. Just search for Safe Haven and you'll find it there. So again, ayaw ka balaka, bisag bugat na kayo mong kasing-kasing, kay depressed kay ka, there is always hope and we are there to help. So don't hesitate to call us. Okay. How about si Leslie? In By Foundation, we believe everybody deserves a second, a third, however many chances it will take for a person to change their perspective in life and do better mm -mm. and become better versions of themselves. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that we need help. Mm -hmm. So I would like to send out this appeal to help us mm -hmm. help them. All right, so thank you, Kaayo, for uh -huh. joining us. Thank you for having us. Spending your New Year's with us. Yeah. So and then we'll be ready anxiety. for our uh, next segment. will be another guest who are also from the same team. Gihapon, no, sa atong mga viewers. Before okay. we introduce our next guest, let's pause for a break. All right. So, nahuman na tano sa pag-discuss sa uh, Safe Haven o sa Buy Foundation with Attorney Marlon and Leslie Yap. So, Attorney Majid will introduce to us the next set of guests. So, our next set of guests are still connected with Safe Haven. So, sila si Sir Emmanuel Lenor, ang director sa Safe Haven Center o si Ms. Socorro Yads Amodia. So, kani, gamay lang nga background sa ato ang koan, atong ikaduha, ato ang pinakagwapa nga guest besides si Ms. Leslie D.I. Um, about ni Ms. Yads kay siya ang nagdala sa ato ang very, very special guest nga ato nang hinganlan ka ron, si Berta di atong very special guest yes. sa facility. So, iyang istorya na ito sa pamaagi nga nung nadala nila si atong special guest sa facility. So, Sir Eman, um, can you tell us more about, you know, your role as a director of Unsa Niang Safe Haven Center from your perspective? Okay, may gabi sa tanan, no? Thank you, Attorney, no? Attorney, sa pag-invite na mo diri. Huwag sa akong silingan si Attorney Joyce. Shout out. Shout out, Dian. Actually, ang Safe Haven started five years ago, ni Pastor Bong, and I used to be an addict as well. So, ako, I've been to many rehabs. But wala ko maayo dito because I was treated uh, inhumanely, meaning dili kay makatao ba? Because uh, I can say that because I was there. But when I when I knew about Pastor Bong, I went to the facility five years ago, and bisyo nsa pa ako ng buhaton dito niya tulang ko. It's because uh, nakadungo ko na loving. Uh, it, it's rare, it's rare, and it's a fact na tagsara ko ng loving na facility kay. 
mostly mga good, basta adik pa tagamon. But they forgot na ang, ta- ang adik, tao rapod. Tanang tao, masayap lang good. So ni Addo ko, and eventually naayog ko. Uh, I'm still recovering. Uh, by the way, I'm five years clean and sober. Wow, oh, five years clean and sober. Congratulations. Thank you. So dito, nag-work ko, nag-volunteer, nag-kuhan ko sa program. So until nag-training ko as a recovery counselor, until nakaroon ni Mukong Center Director. The reason why nipadayon ko sa Safe Haven is because nakita na ko na epektibo ang programa. Kay mostly mga good, basta musog ka rehab, dili kay may ilang tao, pasakit ang good ka, apos lang, manday ka ng arikadi ka, ingani o na lang ka, magkaon ka, ipan ka, maligo ka, ipan ka. So di ka katawag kaon, di ka tarog tog, Nya, the mere fact ba na in pain ka, masambot na ka. So igawas mo, after six months or one year, you would remain the same. Mm-hmm. But a safe haven, nakita mga na ko na I still have value. Mm-hmm. Because I was heard. I was being heard. Nga na gani. I knew na na ako sa yuk, but it doesn't mean na di na lang ako maayo. So nakita na ako ni Pastor Bong. Kaya back then, pag abot na ako nito, gamay raman me. So siya gawin ng unay. Na. So, mauto, na-train ko niya, niya baskin si Attorney Joy sa Musilingan, nakikita ko na na kung sa ko ka badlungan sa unang. Hindi <laughs> 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 ko makamusulti, anak. Pero deep inside me, I know, I knew na, I know na I'm a good person. So, mauto na karoon, napadayon yun, niya, di padayon na to ang, ang safe haven, kay daghan na kagnaayo, daghan na tabangan, good. So, mauto na, uh, we are hopeful na this would continue. Not only in the Visayas, but also Luzon and Mindanao. Kaya dagan nag-iusip ang utan about safe haven. Ah, so nag-expand ba ka karun or wala ka? It's part of a plan. Oh. Kaya dagan nag-iug na naibong. Unsa man yung safe haven? Mm-hmm. Nikalit man lang nagtunga. <laughs> Back then, hilom na kayo may. Dagan na tagnatabangan besides ni Berta. Di lang to sila sikat. Mm-hmm. But if makita niyo sila sobra pag yun ni Berta. Yun, kanang walang wala, nag-iug ba't naayo. So mo na karun si Berta, gihimo siyang i-implobos ginoon na madasa to ah. Nakatapa po si Berta in a way sa safe haven eh, na ilhan ba? But wa mo gudang mo pa ilan na mo ni mo na ang ato lang gud mo spread ang hope and love. Kay dagang kay suffering addicts, dagang kay mga family suffering sa addiction, nag-antos gud. So hopefully ang safe haven makatabang o spread hope and love. So did it sa safe haven Sir Eman ba? Kan um si Attorney Marlon magud mentioned a loving and nurturing environment. So what type of how do we put that into how do we implement that? Do we um, put our clients in a structured environment or personalized by ilang treatment. Okay, uh, of course, nagi put a structure. Mm-hmm. Eh, every day, kaya kani mga mga suffering addict, kani mga addict, alcoholic, magsigay lang kagamit ino mo, kita na kagdisiplina sa mga kuglingon. Mm-hmm. So, pataka ang langka. So, dito, it train ka balik. But, we will not force you. Mm-hmm. Kung mo join ka sa ang session, it's okay. If not, okay ra. But, we will do coaching. Mm-hmm. And we at don't, their own pace. At their, their own pace. Kuhaan man siya individualize. Mga mm. tanaming, ano di makaganahan, to help them realize. But, sa ako na again before, i-force man ka. Mm. Ing anak man ka, wadyo kay Silvi, batik ay ka, apil, apil, oh, pugson ka. Mm. So, iabos gawas, wala may mapugos na ako, so balik sa akong old habit. Mm-mm. But sa safe haven, we will ask you questions mm. to help you realize na kung si sakto or dili. Mm-hmm. Once ang tao makarealize, this would be tintalo na. So you dig deeper, Gidi. You dig deeper. Mm-hmm. We, ang, ang gi-cure ang inside ang oh, person. Oh, so the, yeah. lang ang issue. Person. Oh, sige, more like issues mm-hmm. uh, nakakawas sa uh, substance abuse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct. So how do you perform operations, sir? Anong nanay family, nga mo contact? Uh, how, how do you do that? Uh, at first, we really ask. Kaya na may uban ko, isuri lang ang pamilya, kaya nasa lang problema siya ang sawa, na ikabit. Ang mm-hmm. <laughs> anak ba? We don't want that. <laughs> interview good. Oh, oh. interview ang ganda mo. It has to be a real problem. <laughs> oh, kaya ba, tagoo man lang, kaya naan nila ang mga sawa, ang ba, na, na gani. So, ang mag-interview, and soon, if may bawa na mo, na severe na kayo, kanang dili na maligo, hindi na magkaon, mga hilabot na, initag ulo, then we would ask the family if mo volunteer ba. Mm-hmm. If dili mo volunteer, uh, among i-rescue. Mm-mm. Of course, with the concept of family. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, ang usan na to ka, guys, si Ma'am Yads, kanang usan ni siya sa, uh, sa term ganit, Ma'am Yads? Co-initiator. Co-initiator. So, pag-rescue na to ni Berta, 
kanang if if, if nakakita mo sa trending nga vlog na adit to si Anton Anton is not available now mm-hmm. so actually kanang unsang hero ni si Ma'am Yads mm-hmm. she's one of those who help out the co-initiator of the rescue Ma'am can you eh, can you share yun sa pag yun sa ganun yung pagbukat oh my god isa tanan no sa inyong mga tele, televiewers um nagpasalamat sad mi nga invite me diri aro mapaambit na mo ang Uh, talag sa un nga life story ni Berta. Mm-hmm. So before ana um wako kay bawa trending na gid siya. <laughs> Murag outside world kay ko wala ko kay bawa and then until such time nakakita ko niya sa TikTok. Mm-hmm. So nakaano ko kanindot sa dani niya. Uy kanang witi kayo ba niya. Mm-hmm. Pero bulingit siya. So nakaano ko ba ko mas kay problema ani niya. Mm-hmm. So and then Anton kay friends man mi and neighbors at the same time So one time, sa among mga story story, casual friends, sa mga casual talking, uh, he's good siya about uh, Berta. I, I call him Robert. Actually, di ko comfortable mo tawag niya Berta. So Robert, pinakay uh, tawag niya. niya ana din siya nga ka si Kuya ba, ka ng tabangan. At okay, before, ang kuan din ana is ang uh, iyahang kamot nga ni Hubag, mm-hmm. niya magdugo-dugo niya, baho, jud kayo. Mm-hmm. So, so infected, it's it. Mm-hmm. So na, mo to among concern at first, Ikaduha pa na ang addiction. Medical sa. Oh, medical sa siya. So, Anton was really the kanang initiator niyon siya nga kanang atong tabangan. An- so, ni anak ko niya, kung ato siyang tabangan, ato siyang tanaw ko, unsa gay cause mm-hmm. sa problem. Mm-hmm. Kaya I know it's not only poverty. Mm-hmm. Naagi something behind it niya mo to include ka na siya nag ana so mm-hmm. mga symbol nila nga kuan mm-hmm. mga gesture nila sa drug addiction so ingon sa anton murag pero wala sa gid siya kay bawo kay wala man sad me kana wala man me oh nya wala sad me experience ana ba so siya sad wala sad she experience ako lang ang ako is kanang hi i know how it feels to have nothing mm-hmm. or less mm-hmm. so mo na akong kuan sa iyan kung mutabang ko ton mutabang ko kay kay bawo jud ko unsa ang iyang sitwasyon karon mm-hmm. And then sa pa- sa side sa ni Anton is about depression. So mental health sad kay he, he was into depression unya. Murag nakatabang sad si Robert sa iyaha mm-hmm. uh, pag cope sa iyang uh, depression. So while we were talking mga nanak na mga butang musud gid ang topic na Berta. So mauto nga ni anak ni na di sa job wedding uh, kana bitang usual nga pick up on lang mm-hmm. na sa kena na makuan ang pick up po lang siya kay Isud sa, siya, sa rehabilitation center. So it was a very long process. Di sa mid na naha na mga kuan bitaw siya, mga trauma siya sa experience mm-hmm. niya. Isud siya sa rehabilitation center. So mga to na hinahinay, give friend siya ni Anton. Kay si Anton wala may uh, work at uh, that time. Mm-hmm. Ako nagpasalamat sa gunga. Kuan niya ko, nag-work niya ko. So si Anton, makakita siya ni Robert any time of the day. Mm. So iyang pakanon, iyang agway-agbayan. So, build oh, your relationship. Oh, gi- gi- build good oh. niya. Oh, kanang rapport, sorry, iyang no? confidence, iyang trust. Mm. Before siya, gihangyo na ato sa ipaayo yung kamot. Mm. Kamot pa to. Di magig siya masugot. So anak ko, ayaw lang din pugsa. Kung dili siya masugot. Kay lisod ka, ayaw kung ayaw mong pugson. Basig, di na siya mo ganahan ni mo, di na siya mo trust ni mo. Di oh, So, di na siya mo engage ni mo. So, ato lang din siya pa undayunan which is ni agree po si Anton. So un- until such time nga uh, nangita siya nagnamgo ni siya sideline food aside from kanang being uh, hoteler uh, na siya sideline ng mga elderly so nag kuan siya nangita siya og uh, facility nga uh, masudlan sa iyang uh, mga gibantayan na uh, elderly. So naabot siya sa safe haven. Ang iyang gintuyo is para sa mga elderly na service pero si Vince Hall ang iyang na, na himamat sa niya dito nag-introduce nga nabiyay addiction diri ana so murag nakaana siya dili man kana kung ipangita pero it came to his mind si kuya si kuya Berta so mo to ni siya nga adun daw nato ma'am niya pangutan on to ikaw ikay pangutan na kay mm-hmm. kana ikaw may sa kay bawo ko ano ako may sa kay bawo mm-hmm. pwede ra magudan nato i research siya uh, actually ko an magud ko uh, Atalangis gitan ako profession, mm-hmm. behavior therapist ko for special kids. Mm-hmm. And then I was a graduate of psychology. So at least uh, nakatabang-tabang ko sa uh, pag-cope ni Anton sa yung depression as a friend. Mm-hmm. And then kuan sa kanang, unsa akong pag-approach ni Robert mm-hmm. na mo, mo kuan siya na mo, mo trust siya na mo until nga madaan na mo siya sa rehab, matabangan na mo siya. And then mo to, nag-historya mo Sir Eman, mas kigabiin na kayo ito. Nag-inipormi pa ko. So, ni-answer, salamat sa Jude kay May sa safe haven. 
kay si Juan Sir Eman accommodating jud ga ayo approachable so wala jud problema bisa ka BE day sir on call di ay oh that's great that's great oh and then time of the day gid ay pwede ka tawagan ang safe So na to mi gabi and then ako si 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 attorney Marlon sa gistoryahan sa mi kung unsay mga legalities kung masud na si Robert kay naam sa mi mga pangutana o di lang bahin sa iyang pagsulod ug kanang kuan sad kanang like for example na iganahan mo take videos wala mang gyud ta kay baw na asa pa ingon bitaw kay naam sa people will take advantage sa iyang sitwasyon kay Before siya nasunod sa safe haven, makakita ba yung agad nga daghan kay videos mm -hmm. sa YouTube nga muna siya tagaan og salin-salin, mm -hmm. tagaan og sinsilyo, pero wala ganyan na kahuna-huna o taba nga kung sa girot ko sa iyong problema. Tinuod. So, mauto siya nga kanang nasa ni mga hesitations, mauto ni konsulta ni, ni Sir Eman, and then feeling sa ginako ako na kanang trusted good guys sila, makakuan good ko ba, makasalig good me sa ilaha. So, moto na, nagkuan na may prepare on saan siya pag-rescue. Uh... So, kuan, ang amuhang plano ato is, amo siyang invite to nung kaon, niya, lipay-lipay na siya. Pero, deep in, inside us, nakaana dyan may ulo, yung mga konsensya, good guy, no, kay, ato siya pakanon, o niya, mura pag last supper ba niya, ato di siya try doon, <laughs> ipadade, ipa-rescue din ato siya dito. Pero, sige lang sa dimigyan, kalma-kalma lang sa damang mong kagaling, o na, Sige lang kay para mang gidnisad sa iyang kaayuhan. So mao to na buntag sa October 26. Libot-libot na mo sa Bagdos, Fuente, adto sa kanang Ramos wa gyud na mo siya nakit-an. So nakaingon nila, eh, dili pa siguro ang right time. Pagkagabi in ah, pagkahapon-hapon na ana naay usa sa among mga friends sa kakita niya. So gistoryahan siya until nga gida siya sa restaurant ya contact din mi pagdali mo kay nana na dinis na nana si Robert oh. so kami said at least duol ra man sad among balay dito kay kana siya ni dagsa siya dito nga place kay daghan mga hatag so murag mo frequent siya dito and then nako ana sad niya murag na routine na pud niya nga adto siya dalhon ni Anton dito pa kanon every time na magkita siya kay sakit sad sa, sa amo ang buot na makakita na tagaan bitaw siya sobra-sobra mm -hmm. oh so at least kung tagaan man gyud at least dignified sad ang atong ihatag sa, sa iya haba or sa ilaha sa uban pang berta nga nagsuri-suri sa kadalanan mm -hmm. so mo to pakanon siya lami pakanon siya unjay gusto nya na man gyud siya favorite na food so mo ginay permi ordero niya calamares mo ginay yung mm -hmm. a order ug ila na gyud si <laughs> oh nya every time makakita siya ni Anton hi my friend <laughs> yeah, makakita siya na, uy, lahi man yan, tawag na ako sa una. So, karon na, <laughs> ako na yung pangani, itawag sa una. Angga, mga angga, ang gudyang nga tao sa una. Anggaan niya si Anton ug Martin, ako, ang, anggaan ko niya ang Maria. Ano? Uh, Anton nga, karon mo, kung ano yun siya sa mong mga pangani. I call na siya oh. sa names. Pila ito ka, kita mo ko sa video, pila mo ito ka buk ang nag-rescue ito, uh, Sir Eman? I think four or five, tulo. Tulo, tulo. tulo. sa, sa, kuan, sa... Driver o pat? Sa driver o mukha sila. Okay. Oh. Oh. So, dali na po ba ito? Pero tigid na mo, kay kami hesitant din kami kibasin ng question mo ni Sir Emma na ito yung what if mo resist niya, mag-violente siya or unsayin siya, kay bawo mi ang saon pag handle anak. So, at least anak ko, kalma lang gid mi and then ni trust po mi sa ilahang capacity and then ampo, inubanansan sa pag-ampo nga, sige lang gid po mi ampo nga, at least hapsay lang gid ba. So, true enough, pag kaon-kaon, lamigid kayo siya katawa, sige siya pakumidya ka na, bitaw yung mga lines, bitaw niya. Pero sa ako, ano, sige ko, ano, sa stride door dyan kayo ko, ano yung mga gawad. Pero sige lang kayo kukingon. Ako lang kayo sa amaman sa akong kagalingan nga. Sige lang kayo, para maginis yung kaayuhan. So si Anton kay, kung ano saan, magkurong na saan kayo, murong, ano, na, 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 oh, ganun, nagpulbaan na saan kayo, may ba, na, ano, kay, nagpulog kayo, may mo-resist siya. Kana dyan ang fear nga, na yung mo-resist. Madlok, may ba kayo, masig mag-violente, ano. Pero sus, lipay sa dyan kayo, misa naan, kayo pagbarog. Ano, ragit siya nga na murag na asad siya eh kuhan ka itong ni approach sa iya ha ka ng murag friendly ka iba mo ito ni Anna siya dyan hi baby nanin ko ako pala asad siya gijoke joke na hala he's gonna be your baby mo ito kuyog siya giuban na siya giaskot siya sige sakay na ito yun siya dili mo palit kung tambal na po siya excuse yung ko kana lang ito sakyan para palit o tambal mo ito ni saka siya pero yung anak yun siya nga Papa Anton, kay Papa no, Papa Anton, kuyugi ko. Mm -hmm. Namoto ni kuyug na lang pud misod sa van hangtod na abot siya dito sa safe haven. Mm -hmm. Nga hapsay ra jud kaayo. 
Wow, so in God's grace, kung natabangan yun si Bertha with instruments like Safe Haven, si Ma'am Yad, so si, Sir, Anton. si Anton, si Sir Eman. So, uh, one lang yun no, kanang helping other people by it's not easy. It's a burden. Mo nang not everybody helps out. Okay, mm -hmm. ikaw mismo ba other than your time, your money? Bugat siya sa kasing-kasing ang pagtabang, no? And so we are thankful for people like you, ma'am, si Anton, yung mga friends, nga mura mo gradyo ato na, ano si <laughs> Kuya Robert din eh. So tinabangay, it's a group effort. So thank you so much for uh, what you do for others. And uh, sumuha so, to ang atong discussion, no, on operations of kan how to how to conduct operation to rescue somebody nga ato ang isud sa safe haven. So thank you kaayo sa inyo and you. then thank our you. our next guest will be si Kuya Robert na jud major. Si excited <laughs> na kaayo <laughs> ni pinaka special na guest din. Yes, you know? <laughs> okay. So uh, please stay tuned and we'll be back. Welcome back to the show. So, ang um, naanak ka na itong very, very special guest nga ato ang yung, ang hi, mura, 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 mahong nga highlight din ato siya sa ato ang show karong gabi una. Uh, we, are, we are also joined by Sir Eman, atong guest kanina. Pero gusto din ako i-kuan yun, i-give special emphasis sa ato ang atong very, very, very special guest karong gabi una nga si Berto. Berta. Berto or Berta. So, how do you want? How do you want to be called? Or you can call me Roberto. Roberto. Okay, so we'll call him Roberto. Uh -oh. Kuya Bert, we're so yeah. happy. Nani <laughs> kuyu ka karon na It's my pleasure. Tawa, guys. I tanawa ko din yon sa ang um, wala ka sa katung wala ka kita sa trending. So this is Kuya Robert, popularly known as Berta, mm -hmm. and you can see the change in him. Imagine katung sa una nga bro, bisan baya with kanang you in the street baya uh, kuya Bert no kuan gihapon aura gihapon pa ay diwa kanang kanang na ayud chay na ayud chay artistry ban ya kanang you are a character on your own bisan ug naa ka diha sa dan naglakaw-lakaw kay mo mu stand out mu stand out din siya mo lingi gyud ang mga tao nya i wanted to say kay gisutin ako ganina daan look at his face <coughs> diba He's good looking. Guapo <laughs> kay ka, Kuya Bert. Thank you also. Thank you also. Guapo kay siya. So, Kuya Bert, thank you for joining us. For kanang, sharing his time with us. Yeah, like and kanang, it's a new year, new beginning. Yeah, kanang, nindot na-excite ko. Na-excite kayo <laughs> kung uh, ikaw atong guest kay. I am sure dagang ma-inspire sa imuha. You are uh, God's gift to the world for them to see that there is things change if there's love and mm -mm. there's hope. Amen. Okay? That's right. Amen. <laughs> okay. So, Kuya Robert, can you tell us a little bit of, about yourself? Oh, yes. Well, I'm a simple person and I'm respectful people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I strongly believe that once you will have uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you will know what you are, who you are, mm -hmm. and you will identify yourself that you are also a human being, drops a man's body, loves a people, love one another. That's Aww. all. Look how nice. Kuan ka nang mahilig yung kaayo si Kuya Bert o ka nang hugot, no? Mm -hmm. uh, it shows by his really intelligent. And it shows that he really is wise, no? Despite mm -hmm. everything that he's been through mm -hmm. or where he is right now, na agya po niya wisdom. So, Kuya Bert, asa mo nagi ka ni Mohang wisdom, knowledge, and understanding? Only the God who holds that. Once we ask, God will give us. That's right. Especially to our family also, our mother, our father, who take good care of their kids, to their children, to learn wisdom and everything. That's why there is education. Study hard and make your dreams come true. So, for the knowledge of everybody, no, si Kuya Bert is actually a college graduate. Mm -hmm. That's why, kuan kesha when nag teach put siya sa una, so that's why when he talks, kuan siya ka ayo kanang. Very eloquent, yeah. Yes. Nagi eloquent siya ang speech. Yes, kanang full of kanang. <coughs> dili siya, dili kid shallow ba? Kanang, mm -hmm. no, really deep. 
it's it's so light good bisan na ay substance na ay yeah that's yeah. the word I'm looking for <laughs> na ay substance ang kang kuya bird so kanang kan can you discuss kana Eman how the process was pag suot niya bag upa siya sa safe haven how how you deal with first timers okay um, expected yun na sa first timers na hesitant some ano uh, maglagot magwild misugiso but with kuya Berta Hindi mo siya iisog noon, pero hindi siya magawa sa iyong balay. <laughs> may isolate siya, mm-hmm. isolation, which is also expected. So, what we did was, uh, i-comfort yun natin siya. Hindi mm-hmm. lang i-comfort na comfort, kaya ng comfort yun natin uray. Because knowingly, for how many years, wala na niya madawat. Mm-hmm. Of course, the streets na yung mahatag, but at the same time, pakantahon-kantahon ba. Mm-hmm. Nga, natouch ko siya yung line, in siya maidre. and ang coach Emma no kay dili ko binuangan og bugal-bugalan also aware gid they say aware siya Emma no nga ikaw masturyan makadungo murag yeah. correct aware siya attorney mm-hmm. ikaw masturyan makadungo murag ka kumuton ba na mm-hmm. of course kanang tao biya ni mm-hmm. but knowing kuya Berta makasulti nga na so mao to after two weeks or 15 days ni go hospital na siya because i visit him because i'm the assigned counselor Pag first, first, uh, first week, hindi ko siya magawas. Kaya gusto lang kong socialize siya. Hindi mo siya mamugos. Sige, tag story ya. Niya. Magawas lang lang siya. One time, ato, ito natin siya meeting. But after nibalik, kaya di ilang kuno siya mati meeting. Hindi siya kailangan mo share siya ang life. Mm-hmm. Na. But after mga two weeks to 15 days, nigawas siya. Mm-hmm. Nigawas siya, ninistorya siya, din nakikalubilo. And then, Siya na mag-unang-unang exercise. Oh. <laughs> Unang-unang exercise, yung bakanda-kanda na. Kakita mo ko na volleyball mo, at oh. Sir Eman. But uh. before doon ay tabo, di siya ginawa mo appeal. Siya, okay na ko, diri na ko. But kanila yung makita sa tao, ma-feel sa tao na pinangga ang nai ko. Mm. So I do believe na ni work good siya, ni do out good. Kay karo ang tanawa, mukoy-koy na siya. Okay. Happy kayo, even if we are not relatives, as a human being ba? We're so happy for yeah. the development. Yeah, Kuya that's Bert. right. There is love, there is unity, yeah. and there is joy. Yeah. Kuya Berta, Kuya Bert, what made you open up to the people in Safe Haven? Well, what I do is I must be patient. Wala mm. una mga pagpailo, mm. you know, understand their characteristic and attitudes. Mm. Because if you mingle to them without Uh, knowing of their attitudes and mm-hmm. characteristics, it's hard to have understanding each mm-hmm. other. So if you want to have understanding each other, you should be patient for us. Pagpailub lang because we know that there is something wrong happened to them. Mm-hmm. So kita may mo adjust, mm-hmm. adjust, adjust, adjust. Mm-hmm. So until the such time that they will recover themselves, we can open to him, a person that we can talk to him, mm-hmm. and what we're gonna do, what you will do, so that there is a progress of improvement of recovery of ourselves. What are your favorite activities at Safe Haven? Man? Well, actually, what uh, do you like doing every day? Uh, I like to do prayers. Mm. I pray, like the o'clock prayer mm. of Jesus I trust in. Mm. And most of the time I write in my notebox what we're gonna do with uh, meetings also Ooh. of the 12 steps recovery. Wow. There is a meeting, there is agenda. Uh-huh. Then if, if the peop, if the clients was something wrong, we called a meeting, then the client must be must be all right mm-hmm. after the meetings it has done already. So how so, involved are you sa mga activities na to sa safe haven? By calling attention of the in charge people there in mm-hmm. safe haven, mm-hmm. because there is a killing, killing, killing. Uh-huh. So we stand up, wake up everybody, we have a meeting, we have a meeting, uh-huh. we have a meeting. So that's the signal. There is a one person who are in charge to that. Ah, uh, okay. So kang Kuya Bert na nga mo help out sa chess sa mga chores dito? Yeah, uh, tabang-tabang so involved, 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 yeah. 
nindot ang safe haven. So, we're so happy, Kuya Bert, kanang you're actually an inspiration to us. Yes. Na, kanang, and I'm so happy also. I'm glad that I'll be here, that you are interviewing me. Mm -hmm. hey, before anything else, I'd like to greet you. Good evening. I know mm -hmm. I forgot yes. to greet. <laughs> Good <laughs> evening to all Actually, of you. Actually, I'm so excited because we are so excited. Like na na mo gipa greet si, <laughs> si Kuya Bert. So, kanang thank you, Kuya thank Bert, you. for uh -huh. reminding us. <laughs> Good evening, siya. So, Kuya Bert, kuan, uh, actually, una, na, kanang gamay reject that time, and we'd like to have you back again uh, to tell us more about kanang your story para you can inspire uh, more fellow human beings ba sa kay this is all this is an episode ang attorney magic nga life changing siya mm -mm. kanang maka we see people in the streets differently through kakuya robert no so kanang um, sa mga nagtanaw karon kanang mga nangasadan they are humans just we like hope us na, Murag, we see them through different lenses yes, at any time no oh. Murag, we see them through eyes of compassion ba? yes and that they all have value just mm -hmm. like us so we are no better than them so we must be kind to them so kuwang unsud ang atong time we thank safe haven we thank Emma and all our guests for joining those who that we thank the people nga who go out of their way to help and for sharing oh, their time and their lives with us today sa to yes, yes, sa to right. show yes okay, <laughs> it's a new year and a new beginning so uh, for finale lang giyod among hangyo nimo kuya bird can you say your uh, last iconic I no. iconic <laughs> lines for the viewers to listen uh, okay, before anything else, I would like to inform you that this is a new year. Mm -hmm. So start again to live good, be good, and have a new life. And sweet living good life. And that is a, that is a perfect happiness of the parents. Mm -hmm. Once the son of the parents was do the good life, live life, and there is a, a comprehension of life, and understanding it carefully. What is the meaning of life? life? So all I can say to the people, follow the good steps of life and do not live wrong life. Mm -hmm. Because once if you live a wrong life, your life is busted. Mm -hmm. But if you live a good life, your life is wonderful, mm -hmm. precious, and Happiness. Wow. Also. Perfect oh moment. Perfect. That's Thank all. you so much, Favor, Thank for you, those Kuyabert. beautiful words. Life no? is beautiful. Life is precious. Life and life is, is happiness. happiness. Correct. So, nindut kayo ang ato ang first episode sa Partners mm -hmm. in Law for year 2021. Nagkuanta na yellow ta because it's the color of the year. Taga anti ka, Kuya Bert, o yellow ha. Okay, para swerte. <laughs> so, to attract positive vibes. Yes. yes. Okay. So thank you, Kayu, Kuya Bert. Thank you, Eman. And Dreamy. I would like Dreamy. to thank uh, my co host, Nga Naskami. Kay Ikan siya first time. <laughs> first time you'd be <laughs> For a first time, kay Washa Manguru, Wala siya Kulba Ing. He gets the cue right away, right to Ka Atorni Majin. Wow. Kay Wara Kay Dak Murara Kanang Kanang. Easy ra ka ayo ang smooth Ata sa natural element. <laughs> so more, kuani siya. Shout out to our president. More VJ moments to come. Lagi. Thank you so much, the fiscal Joyce, for the opportunity to be here. <laughs> so thank you, sad ka ayo, uh, Majed. So do you have any last words to our viewers? Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, thank you to the Cebu Lady Lawyers Association, and I look forward to joining the show again in the future. <laughs> We'd like to have you. So, uh, to everybody, thank you for joining us again. And there, there will be a replay tomorrow in the afternoon, and you can also watch our show through YouTube. So, it's a new year. New life, new chance, new opportunities. So let's claim an awesome 2021. I am Attorney Cheryl Condat, your Vice President of Cebu Lady Lawyers Association. Thank you and God bless.